today we've got really something special for you. We're gonna show you how to make TikTok nail videos. We're gonna talk it out. Talk it out, talk it out. We're gonna talk to Greg and we're gonna get a little bit of a taste on exactly how he makes TikTok videos. Then we're gonna to talk to Steph on content, ideas, creativity for the talk. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. And also, what's inside the mind of these people? How to create TikTok content. You don't need anything. Is that cool? You don't need anything except your damn phone to create content. We're gonna show you some of the steps that we take to make the content, that Greg takes to make the content. All you need is your phone. Your, hello, d -d -d texting. Habib, you're awesome. Habib, you're so cool. Like Habib's photo. Habib, oh my God, Habib. That's all you need is your phone in order for you to get started on the TikTok, the TikTok, tickety, dump, dump, the boogie, and Beautiful. Thanks, bro. It's Be it's beautiful, bro. Thanks. You look beautiful. Thanks, bro. It's beautiful. I'm beautiful. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so when you shoot TikTok content yep. with Victoria, what are you trying to accomplish? Like, what are you looking for to do? Trying to create a really incredible visual experience. A lot of what we do on TikTok is looking for that like satisfying type of video, right? right? Something close up flowy, um, something that looks kind of satisfying and obviously in nails, there's an endless amount of that that you can do. When we first started, we were trying to figure out what would be satisfying. I mean, we experimented with a ton of different stuff. Then we figured out that we needed some really, really close, high def stuff. There's nothing better than seeing color flow, Yeah. you know? I mean, in the beginning phases when we started on TikTok, we really didn't know what the hell to do, actually and we just posted a lot of stuff. In the first, I think, four months, it didn't really take off because we were experimenting. We were just trying different things, and then we posted one video of an acrylic nail, which Greg did, and it was kind of flowing down the nail, which was super satisfying, and that one blew up for us, and then we just sort of latched onto that and been doing that ever since. You have about 15 seconds to capture their attention, and here's the thing. A lot of them are not gonna watch it for 15 seconds probably have about six seconds, right? So, so. I would even argue less, bro. Less. <clears throat> because when you thumb on a TikTok video, maybe a second Correct. or two, and then you're on to the next one, unless it catches your attention in that beginning. We're trying to expose the brand to as many people as we possibly can. And in order to do that, we have to be able to expose them with some really, really cool effects. So what I've done is I've set my hand up uh, one of the things we're going to do is we need, there's a few visuals we need. I need to take my brush and then uh, I'll ask Vic if she's ready. Yep. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna show it to her. Got it. Boom, so we have that. Um, for, for us, that's basically gonna show them the color. Now, now what I wanna be able to do, I need my glasses for that, for this. I need a flow. So I have, I have my finger pointed down and what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to create a really, really nice flow. So uh, for me, again, is loading up my brush. Um, I'm going to get a, a really, really nice pearl. I'm going to set this down right here to the cuticle area, release, and then I'm just, for me, I've, I've been doing this for a while. So you can see how I could get the product. Look at this, I get it to roll, roll roll and I can get this to roll and flow all the way down to the edge in the least amount of touches. So you can see how quickly I'm actually able to get it to flow from this point to this point. And then she'll allow me to come back in and then what I'll do from here is I'll use my brush just to kind of touch it into place. Once we actually have this really nice flow over the surface, I'll clean my brush, I'll just kind of brush it over just to make sure that everything is nice. You can see how nice my overlay is, 
So uh, Vic checks it out. What we'll do is we'll do a roll by, quick roll by so that they could see a full color application. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an impression. So what we need to show is we need to show how I'm actually gonna come in and I'm actually going to press this into the powder so that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna clean my finger right over the surface. Let me know when you're ready. So you can see when I'm over the top and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull down onto the surface and you can see how we're going to get that really nice pillowed effect. That's basically two videos That's correct. from, so you guys are like trying to pull as much out of it as possible, yeah. right? You know, when we first started to do this, I like we take each finger, each color, it would take forever. I mean, for us to get through, I would say 10 or five or six colors, it would take an hour and a half. Yeah. We're now, we're able to be really efficient with the colors and you know, I'm actually able to just go right through them quickly. Stephanie actually runs the TikTok account. So what do I mean by that? She posts everything on the account. Plus she does a lot of the creative on the account. In addition to what Greg and Victoria are doing, Stephanie also works with Victoria. And then a lot of the ideas for the types of content, also uh, Stephanie contributes there as well. So she's she kind of owns the account for all intents and purposes. As the person running the account, how do you go about what to post on TikTok? What are you looking for? How do you guys sort of run the creative? What are the discussions like before shooting? What is that experience? How does it happen, Steph? I think it's just kind of like any other platform. You think about what you consume when you're on a platform. You know, what do you like to see? What's interesting to you? And this platform specifically is very much so about attention grabbing mm. and um, it's quick. It's not something that you're going to be sitting there for a long time watching, so it needs to be interesting right off the bat. Um, and I think just paying attention to what some of the trends are on there, just like on any other platform, there's trends that happen daily and then they're gone, so you kind of got to jump on them. Uh, you can always find what, on the business accounts, you can see what your li what your follow followers are listening to and watching. So taking that, that. Yeah, that helps for the music to use. Yeah, right? absolutely. You can even see on the analytics page um, what your followers are listening to. So I pull from there daily as to what songs, even it's a lot of the time songs that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Um, maybe just like TikTok sounds, but I pull from those often just because you want to get your audience's attention. So if I already know their attention is somewhere, I'm going to capitalize on that as far as talking creative do you start with looking for trends and then bring that into okay let's let's produce it I think it's a combination of everything um, I like to try things and see if it works just like you know we're always talking about just experiment experiment and see what your followers think about it we still have videos that just flop and <laughs> yeah. I think they're about to like hit and they don't and then sometimes we have some that are just more fun I'll follow trends and then I try to do things that are just completely off the wall to see what happens you know you never know what's gonna stick I think the key in what you said is experimenting right like I think that's part of our culture here in content creation is totally experimenting with with content like post it see what happens if it does well let's do more of that right people that are wanting to get on the platform but don't know what to do i always try to like tell them well, we didn't know what to do you've got to experiment correct from the beginning you have to just try stuff is that not what we did in the beginning i think that's really key just like on any platform but TikTok, especially any kind of a new platform we spent months yeah. getting nowhere yeah <laughs> and we still just posted every day to our like five followers just because we were trying you know it was what's does this look cool do they like more effects less effects sounds not sounds you know and we just kept going we went we like four or five months yeah. with like no traction whatsoever yeah that's right yeah that's right and I so consistency and experimenting I think are the two top like recommendations for any platform consistency and experimentation because like in our situation when we were posting stuff and nothing was happening I didn't come to you and say okay Steph stop posting our conversations were always like just 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 keep posting don't worry about it like just keep posting let's see what happens and it did take about five months until we you know we posted something and it was like 
Oh, this is kind of what they want today, right now. Not that it's gonna last forever. And then we just did more of that, correct? I love the idea of going to different nail accounts, going onto their pages, see what posts have hit and done well, and then you try those, do your own version of them and see if it works for you. Because I know we've tried stuff that other people have done. People have tried stuff that we've done. It works on our page, maybe it doesn't work on theirs or vice versa. You just don't know. So um, I love that process, but I think what you said is the most important thing is experimenting and being consistent with your posts.